hi guys welcome back to the channel so i received this file from one of the subscribers and he had a problem like he created his custom uh, avatar and he was having a problem if he simulates this the clue doesn't attach to the avatar now the problem here is first of all the avatar wasn't imported to scale as you can see the grid is very big so the avatar is not to scale and secondly if i turn on the uh, bounding volume you find out that this is supposed to be the actual size of the avatar so first i'm going to fix this and show you guys if for anybody that is having this problem i want to show you guys how you can solve this problem So first, I'm going to find the file that was sent to me, which was an FBX file. So now I'm going to open the file. I've, already the file had a, a size that it was exported in. So I'm going to leave it in centimeter and I'll change the value from 100. I'll change it to 1000 and then I'll press OK. Now we can see our male avatar. So I'll move that female avatar aside. So I have the Marvelous Dana avatar by the side so that I can check the scale of the imported avatar. So obviously the avatar that was sent to me was a short guy and the Marvelous Dana avatar is a, a tall lady or maybe the shoes are making her look tall. But now unlike the initial uh, trial we did, you find out that it is matching the grid. Now we're going to turn on the bounding volume and then we'll move the bounding volume from the Marvelous Designer Avatar to our avatar. So that's what we're going to do. We'll move all the bounding volume because our imported avatar doesn't have any bounding volume or arrangement point. So when we move the bounding volume, the arrangement points will also move with it. So as you can see, the bounding volume is quite big for our avatar. So what we're going to do is we're going to the avatar editor so we can customize the bounding volume to fit our avatar. So what we're going to do is we select each uh, circumference so that we can actually um, change the sizes, the height, the radius so that it can fit our avatar. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we, we keep changing the sizes so that it can fit our male avatar.
so now we're done we're going to delete our marvelous designer female avatar and then we can try let's try to simulate uh, a garment on this avatar so we can know if we fixed this problem So as you can see, uh, the problem has been fixed. So when you run into this kind of problem, first check the scale of your avatar that you imported. Secondly, you then check the bounding volume and the arrangement point. So voila, we're done with this. So this is how you fix this problem whenever you run into it. So don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time and stick around by clicking the bell button for notifications whenever I upload a video. So till I come your way again with another video, bye.